Hello everyone, welcome to G4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom form in Drupal 10. Okay, so first uh, I'm going to my custom folder. So modules custom. I'm going to create a new folder called uh, custom form. Custom form. And let me open it on VS Code. And here I'm going to create a new file called info.oml file. So custom form.info.oml file. And for the custom form name, custom form description gets, gets user details. And then uh, type it's a module and next core version requirement so i'm going to keep 9 and 10 so exclaiming cap symbol 9 and 10 and then a version so 1.0 so now we created info file. So once info file is created, you can go and uh, uh, install the module. Custom form and I'm enabling it. Once that module is enabled, you have to create one more file for created routing. So custom underscore form dot routing dot YML file. So this file contains for this path what file it should look. Okay. So it this is a custom user form. You can give any init name, and then uh, you have to give a path path slash get user details and then the you have to mention defaults so where you have to mention your uh, files it's a form file so form file namespace for it drupal slash custom underscore form slash form so this is the folder after that, in that folder, I'm going to create a new file called uh, custom user details. This is the file which I'm going to create now. And then title for your uh, form, it's user details form. And then you have to add one more uh, requirement which is where you are, we are going to mention the permission so who can access it so for, currently i am giving access content permission so in upcoming video i will post a separate video to create custom permission and assign to this particular form so now we successfully created a routing file next copy this uh, class file and here you have to create a folder called src under src form under that the php file which you mentioned in routing dot php file so in this php file we are going to create a form first you have to open the php tab and then namespace for this folder so it's a uh, drupal slash custom underscore form slash it's a dollar it's a form folder after that, you have to add two uh, classes here. One is form base. And then one more is form state interface. So whenever you create a form, you will be having an argument called form state, which is going to 
uh, pass your data from your build form to validate function or the submit function. So you need to include this form state interface, not form state. Interface. So let's copy the form base namespace users. So this is the namespace for the form base. Copy and use slash form base and then form state interface next one is so go here and include that namespace also copy use slash form state interface copy paste and now we successfully added both namespaces after that we need to create a class and class with the name of the file name. And this will be extends of form base. Extends form base. Open close. And then inside that you have to mention a function called uh, get form ID. So whenever you create any form or the existing form which we already have, all will have some unique ID. So as like that you have to mention one unique ID for your form. So when you create a node or any edit page or wherever any form, each form will contain a form ID. So here we are giving a form ID for our custom form. So it's custom user details form. Okay. So you can give whatever you wish. And then next you have to mention build a form. So this is the function. Where we are going to mention our list of fields for that particular form. Okay. So public function build form open. First argument will be always array of dollar form. And next is form state interface. So as I mentioned, whenever you create a form in Drupal, you will be having an argument of form state. So form state. And then inside that you have to mention a fields. So first I'm going to create a name. It's a username. And the username field is type of text field. Text field. And then you have to mention a title, hash of title. So title is user name and then if you want to make it required you can make it required yes true t r u e true okay so and then next argument next to form element is email so user mail open so as like as of type, it's a text field. Instead of text field, you can give email. So it will add all the um, uh, validation for your emails. And next is as of title. Title is, you can give email. And if you want to make it required, you can make it. So I'm just going to copy paste it here, username, and then dollar form of, next one is gender, so user, gender. So this will be the type of select, we have to mention here, select. After that, you have to mention title for it, gender. So instead of giving gender or email or username, enter username, enter email, enter gender. So you can give in that way too. So I have options. Here you have to mention the options. So first is, uh, I'm going to mention mail. Sorry, mail. 
male. Our next option is female. Female. Our next one is other. Okay. So we mentioned all the options now. So you can close this option. So I'm not going to make it uh, required. If you want, you can make it. And then next, op next one is only I'm going to get these fields. Next, I'm going to create a uh, submit button. So submit button as of type. Type is equal to, it's a submit. And then uh, you have to mention a name for it. So you have to mention that as value. And then submit. And then uh, and then that's it. So after that, you have to return this dollar form. So now we created build a form. After that, public function. Validate form. So validate form will contain the argument of uh, whatever we have here. So copy paste the same. And then in validate, you will be having a Amazon here. So the same uh, will be for submit form. So copy the same and paste it away. So instead of validate, you just give submit here, okay? Submit. So now, now we created validate and submit both form, both functions. So in validate, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the length of the username. So if the length is less than five, I'm going to throw error that it should be more than five, okay? Length. So st or len of dollar as i already mentioned the value form value will be we can get it from the form state so get value of username okay so if this is um, less than six i'm going to throw error of dollar form state stands to set error by name so set error by name and then field name so we are going to throw error for this particular field so you have to mention that here after that you have to mention what error you want to uh, print Please make sure your user name is username length is more than five. Okay, so that's it. So validation, we added validation for one field. After that, we are going to do submit. So in submit, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to First showcase with just printing. You have successfully uh, submitted the form. So for that you have to uh, add the messenger service. Drupal colon colon messenger. Open close stands to add message of what message you want to add. So user details submitted successfully. Okay, user details submitted successfully. Okay, so now we added this and saving and submit form is done for now. And then what we are going to do, we are just going to our website. I'm going to put our URL what we created here. So get user details, copy it and paste it and submit it. 
So we create a routing file after installing the file. So whenever you do changes on routing or any YML files or any new hooks, you have to clear the catchy. So I'm going to clear the catchy now. Let it clear fully. Yeah. Okay, it's throwing the error. Let's see what error it is. So scroll down and syntax error it is. So what error it is? On 35th line, go to your file. Nine of 35. Okay, here should be equal to. So now go to your site and refresh. Still it is throwing page not found. Get user details. So let's create catchy again. So now the issue gone. So what we are going to do now? We are going to submit this form. Username Saranya Ashok Kumar Saranya at gmail.com. So female and submit. So you can see the message is coming. User didn't submit it successfully. Okay. So this is how you have to create custom form in Drupal 10. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.